On the 5th of May, the American sprinter Shaquille Richardson showed the world an incredible 100m performance in Doha, Qatar. In a stunning time of 10.76, she beat 100m World Championship silver medalist Sharika Jackson. After a difficult season 2022, the 23 year old Shakari is finally back and put herself on number 1 worldwide over 100 meters. The world champion of last year, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, wasn't able to race yet. She has issues with her knee. Shelly Ann already announced that she will have her first 100 meter race at the Jamaican Nationals beginning of July. It will be exciting to see how fast the 36 year old is able to run. One female sprinter showed recently that she's ready to medal this season, Marie Jose Talou. On the 14th of May, the 34 year old Talou already raced a sensational time of 10.78 in Claremont, Florida. One month and one day later, on the 15th of June, she even improved her crazy time. At the Bislett Games in Oslo, Norway, the Aurorian sprinter just dominated the field over 100 meters. With an incredible finish, she won in a world leading time of 10.75 in front of Antonik Strawn and Sharika Jackson. Marie Chaussé is world class in so many years. Last year she placed 7th in the final at the World Championships in Eugene. At the Olympic Games in Tokyo and Rio, she missed the medals very close and placed 4th. The Avarian celebrated her biggest success in 2017 when she won two silver medals over 100m and 200m at the World Championships in London. In 2019 she won the bronze medal over 100m in Doha. One color is missing in her medal collection. The golden one. The world championships this year will be in August in Hungary. We will see an epic sprint showdown. Shakari is unbeaten over 100 meters in the current season. Actually when we look at the race pattern of both athletes, we can see it's pretty similar. Both have a decent start, but especially at the second part of the race, they just have an incredible top end speed and finish strong. At the moment we don't have an absolute favorite to win gold in Budapest. We cannot forget the current NCAA champion of 100m and 200m, Julian Alfred. Last week the athlete from the University of Texas showed two incredible finals. Over 100m she stormed to the finish line in wind dated 10.72. Julian also showed her excellent sprint endurance over 200m in a wind dated time of 21.73. Even when she raced a lot during her college season, the 22 year old is also a gold medal contender in Budapest. Sharika Jackson lost against Shakai Richardson and Marie Jose Tolu this season over 100 meters. But it's still possible that the 28 year old Jamaican is able to win gold in Hungary. Sharika has a season best of 100 meters of 10.78. Since many years she's showing outstanding performances at the right time. Especially with her great sprint endurance it will not be an issue for her to go through the rounds. Now my question for you, what do you think? Who will win gold over 100 meters at the World Championships this season? Let me know in the comments. If you missed the video about the sensational comeback of Gabby Thomas, click up in the right corner. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.